What if aliens are already living among us? Maybe your neighbor is an alien undercover. And what about the leader of your country? Maybe he's an alien. Black people, Anunnaki, African blood life on earth. Let us look at this topic, Gamchiro. We confirm with extreme cogence the proof from our ancestors that we received the knowledge, evidence, and wisdom of the one and true creator who created our ancestor and the earth. Then he formed the universe as a cover for the earth and us, that those of our brothers and sisters who now follow Jesus, Muhammad, the Talmud, evolution, atheism, or anything else other than this tradition are heretics. They rule. Are we controlled by the unseen forces? Did alien father technology? What are the Anunnaki? Are they also the same as reptilian? What of the Chitauri? What about Amazos? Mizimu Mashavi? Shipuna, have you ever heard of Goritoto? Amazim, Zim Zangara, is the United States run by aliens or greys? Is there a battle between good aliens and evil aliens over humanity? What is the true story and historical effect about these uh, matters? You can see here we have got three images. One, it is the grey or a uh, reptilian and the other is a uh, tikolosh or tokolosh created by african uh, science it's there today one of it was a uh, gay and it was spreading terror and these are some of the reptilian or a combination of reptilians found in sumeria one man who popularized the issue of Anunnaki was none other than Zachariah Stichin, the American author and ancient astronaut theorist whose books have sold millions of copies worldwide and they were translated into multiple of languages. Was Zachariah Stichin a Sumerian scholar or a fraud? Some critics say uh, that Zachariah Stichin, that what he wrote about Nibiru, the Anunnaki, the book of Genesis, the Nephilim, and a host of other things has absolutely no basis in the real data of the ancient world. He was wrong. Again, from an African view, we can identify that these entities exist and a plethora of them exist. There is a video of Zacharias Stichin participating in a 33 degree Mason ceremony. Masonic ceremony. It is given here on this website. Get this and watch it. And you see him participating in that. Therefore, he may have been a disinformer or a propagandist. But what is the truth? Governments have too many secrets. It is a fact the Anunnaki or creatures in that frequency exist and are hidden amongst us. This is an image of some of that type of aliens or that type of creature or creation that exists. Now, there is a story popular connected with this Anunnaki, uh, Zacharias teaching, uh, teaching or modern Sumerian interpretation of ancient events. It says the Anunnaki created the African race to work in gold mines and carry out various tasks for them in Africa. Because the Africans were created by the Anunnaki, they are more difficult for the Draco to mind control. This is another group of aliens that are battling to control humanity. This is one of the reasons why the Illuminati are currently destroying and are, have had to enslave the African race. The Anunnaki are the aliens uh, who are in contact with some of the leaders who are today, today trying to rescue and teach you, uh, humanity. They fear that their creation, the African race, will be destroyed by the Illuminati. So they are building their time by manipulating into existent leaders, like, for instance, uh, Farrakhan, 
and all the while attempting to take as many genetic samples and captive Africans to be shipped off uh, out of the world as possible. Do you believe this? What do you think about that? We know that this could be true because there is a, a number of secrets, one of the top secrets that we have to reveal today, which is known by the majority of people, is a, an area in Nevada called Area 51. You can see there that there is a warning there. That top secret research facility, use of deadly force authorized. So you can't go there, they'll shoot you, they'll kill you. Why do we have such places? Of course, they'll hide by saying this is an area where they carry out research. But here is another one with a lot of symbolic meaning. This is the pyramid built today in America, exactly with exactly dimensions of the pyramid in Giza. And the obelisk straight. And this is an image of a uh, part of the transport jets are uh, sitting on the ground at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. There you are. You can see that. These jets are used to shuttle workers back and forth between Las Vegas and Area 51. You, I found this on this Huffington Post. Uh, the website is given there. This is the Sphinx, but it's a white Sphinx. This is the pyramid, but it's their pyramid. They have duplicated. You can't find any African country doing this in its own country. Why? Educated ignorance rules this world. Since the European male ascended the pedestal of earthly rule, part of his brainwashing effort to get uh, the African people spiritually blind so as to easily control them and the resources in Africa was to use university education, steeped in atheistic evolution, bookish religion, political propaganda, war, fear, and misrepresent ancient texts. For example, the masses accepted the story of Jesus Christ, the story of the Bible, the story found in the Quran, in the Gita, which are copies of ancient truths about the cycles of the sun or events that happened in ancient times is mythos. To make these myths appear to be foolish is what they have done today. So you find that a person who go through associate degree, bachelor's degree, a master's and doctorate and stop there and they put him this Masonic cap on his head so that they know he is theirs or she is theirs. What then is the truth? Where did the Sumerians get their knowledge about the creation stories they wrote? What did Zacharias teaching try to do? We will answer these questions today in this presentation. We begin by revealing that the African mother God creator was the creator of life. On all continents, the African mother goddess was the supreme being who was originally worshipped as the great black mama goddess. Humanity, so, human society first coalesced around the figure of the great mother. She was the one that gave birth to all creation, to all that which we know today as nature or natural creation. Of course, the earliest icons of God depicted God as a black female with kinky and peppercorn hair and just like this one uh, with Venus Willendorf image, as well as our mother Isisu or so-called Isis. Now, the Anunnaki copy was an error because what we know is that Enlil or Yahweh sent Tiamat and Adam from Iraq to Africa to uh, breed mind slaves. There was no Iraq. This was still North Africa. These are excerpts from the Anunnaki Elegas of the Gods, a book. It says Enlil, one of the gods or ancient goddesses, became furious with Adamu who, because Adam impregnated Tiamat and sent them to Enki's African place to, to breed man slaves. So Enki is supposed to have been the ruler in Africa. And then Enki put them in his Zimbabwe compound. She bore kids who bred with each other and with the Anunnaki. So, but what we know is that this is a story that was built up now. We know that Tiamat is the same as Atema or Adam created in ancient times in ancient Egypt. And Enki is life. It means life. It has nothing to do with these entities. Although these mythos could have existed as entities, but that we know from ancient Egypt is that Enki is Ankh. It's life, so they copied it. But in Babylonian mysteries, 
And let me list the seven Anunnaki spirits were conveyed as the earth guardians appointed to keep secrets about the origins of human life. They were a copy of the seven primitive African representations of the seven great gods who sit on golden thrones as lords of life. In ancient Egypt, they defined a world populated by goblins, uh, gnomes, or ghosts, and other spiritual entities called elementally earthy spirits. You can read that in the Book of the Dead, Ritual 83. In the Babylonian Minis Mysteries, as taught today and now, these are what we call the Anunnaki. Now, the African creator Ptah features also, because these spirits that we are talking of, as distinct from our totemic based ancestral spirit, they are not words that guide us, that should guide us. Harris Papyrus, Platform 4, Lines 4 and 6, says Ptah formed the hollow underground of the underworld in which these spirits were placed and dwelt, and their rituals to bring them forth out of this inner earth onto the surface and employ them and use them. They are not aliens, they are no aliens. They are Goritotos, they are greys and other entities that already manifest on the earth. He also surrounded the earth with a firmament of water, therefore the earth or a dome. Putar is maker of the universe, the heavens and the underworld, complements the mother god. He holds the touch symbol with 33 uh, degrees. Neterus were translated into Anunnaki. Anunnaki is an ancient Sumerian term which was given to the beings who came. They are also called Neteru, which is an ancient Egyptian term for Anunnaki. Anunnaki translates as those who Anu sent from heaven to earth. This is what Zagaria's teaching popularized. However, if you are familiar with the Bantu Chishona language, the word is clearly an African word. Anu is the same as Anu, humans or humanity. Naki means made good or sweet. Therefore, they make, the netters make humans good, which is correct, which is straightforward. The netters guide us. They are the forces found in various human bodies. In Aramaic or Hebrew, Kiborim, meaning the mighty or majestic ones, may also be translated into a Bantu Chishona word. Kiborim can actually be Govurimwe, meaning one mighty big one. They are also called Neteru, which is an Egyptian term for Anunnaki. It is thus clear that European scholars and systems have been misleading us on this term. In conclusion, therefore, Everything should be based on totemism. Your identity is locked to your totem. Find your totem first. Totems identify you in your present term with your ancestors. The blood that is flowing in you is not yours. It came from my ancestors. A symbol of your totem should be placed in your presence to act as a mnemonic to bring all your ancestry in your form, in your brain, in your spirit, in your presence. If you go to sleep after viewing this totemic symbol, you will arouse them. Therefore, find this link and activate it. Thus, we will override all the nefarious activities of the industrial complex, the erroneous educational system, as long as we connect to our ancestral typology or archetypes via our totems. Educational system teaches us to ditch these ancestral con connections and tells you to adopt apes and other slime. It's impossible for you to do that. It's unfair. Thank you. This is Prince Teacher Rabbi LM Tumizulu. Subscribe to our channel. Tell others and share this message. LifeSpiritOfAmen.com Thank you. Goodbye.